do that ride all right waiting for the oh crap 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 but look at this thing it is gorgeous sweet so we can get some really big knockouts with this what's up guys it's king daddy d mac and welcome welcome back to another episode of arc survival evolved that's right playing here on the alpha tribe server with parados and gaia baby so excited doing flips man oh man guys thank you for coming hanging out joining me on the adventures as you always do please remember Show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode we went, we tamed this super cool abandoned raptor. That's right. Now, the reason this thing is so cool is it actually evolves. Once we get it to max level, you want to get it all the way maxed out, we can evolve it into a Ruthless Dino, and I'd like to do this today. The Ruthless is one of the top tiers, I do believe, in the Parados mod, so it should be pretty powerful and cool. I think it even can summon minions and stuff, so we're going to be working on that first thing today. We'll look out for another tame. I don't have anything particular in mind but we'll see what we come across so it should be uh, pretty cool last episode me and froggy man also went into that very cool pyramid yeah it's a pyramid cave we got a whole bunch of artifacts and stuff so that was pretty neat pretty nifty also got tons of crazy skins um i guess they're back in my base right now but yeah all sorts of cool neat stuff definitely definitely anyway um we're gonna be ooh, look at this raptor right here is that tameable this thing is super cool savage raptor oh man they're just whoa 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 chill out there's so many cool dinos so we'll see something cool as we're uh playing around hopefully and we can go and tame it i do want to go back into the desert though so that we can get more of those bats that give all the crazy insane kibbles ooh, ooh, ooh crap 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 don't dismount me please all right we whooped his butt it wasn't nothing we're pretty powerful even this abandoned even before being like crazy leveled up it is crazy powerful we're gonna go ahead and use one of these large xp elixirs that gives us quadruple experience for 600 seconds when consumed that is from gaia and a very very nice feature so look at all these little copies and stuff anyway hopefully nothing will mess with us there are some scary dinos that can dismount you. In fact, there's a lot of them in this mod. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to have to do our best. And I'm going to kill kind of indiscriminately. Don't know what the levels are, so I'm sorry if I kill something that's that you think is super good. But right now, levels are our biggest priority. And usually, the cooler something is, the more levels it gives. All right. So, anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was saying we're going to the cave. We got a bunch of artifacts. Not sure what we're going to need the artifacts for in the mods yet. A lot of times there's crafting recipes that require artifacts. So it's good to know that's a fairly easy place that we can get them. Um, we were kind of lucky that we're able to get into the cave scenario while having a mount. I think it's actually intended not to. But, um, yeah, we were able to do it. And we didn't do anything glitchy either. I just ran and jumped, 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 and I finally got in past that little invisible wall. Um, ooh, look at this raptor. What are you? And whoa, 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 whoa. What hit me? What hit me? Oh, the bugs. Get out of here, buggies. That is called an enlightened raptor. It says it's not tameable. It's probably a... Gonna say a boss type thing, but that was pretty easy. It's crazy how powerful some of our mounts are already getting. I think we might have something wrong with our server settings where the wild dinos are just not nearly as strong as they should be. Which is a definite possibility, especially the Gaia ones. Because we had to do a lot of balancing when we have two different mods in here, Parados and Gaia. Um, Gaia has a lot of INI files, a lot of files in the back end that allow you to change the strength and stats of the dinos. So we. Um, Froggy Man went to great lengths to make sure, whoa, these bugs, bro. 
Um, Froggy Man went to great lengths to make sure that we could, uh, we could really have the two mods be pretty equal to each other. However, I'm not sure if it balanced the untamed ones. They might still be a lot weaker. So we'll look into that into the future, but just something kind of interesting to point out. Now, does this guy give a lot of stuff? No. I'm trying to figure out yesterday what I killed that gave me tons of skins. It's possible I got them. It's a frozen gr Whoa! It's a good thing I killed that guy, but yeah, you saw he... He done froze me. I gotta wait a little bit before I can remount. Come on, brosy. Let me on. All right, cool. Man, some of those guys are rough, though. The Guardians are giving Froggy Man tons of problems. Um, we still have our Guardian Griffin that we have to do stuff with. All right, Lambert. I think this guy gives paints. Yeah, that guy gave a ton of paints. So there's a lot of guys like this in the mod that just drop tons of random cool stuff. And then there's also guardians um, from there's guardians in both mods from uh, that's a unicorn. I think this is actually a vanilla unicorn. Pretty sure you're only supposed to have one of those on the map. So that's kind of a lucky find. But yeah, as I was saying, there's guardians from both mods in one mod in Gaia. The guardians are supposed to be more or less bosses from the other mod from Parados, they're just like pretty high-end dinos, but they do all sorts of nastiness, at least to other players. So we have a Harry Hopper here, which is tameable. This guy, remember before when we fought him, he like teleported us yesterday, I think. All right, didn't do that today. We got a tame elixir from him. Still haven't found what gave me all these crazy aberration skins. Oh, look at this. That's really pretty, a wicked horse. Wicked horsey horse, so it's a passive tame. It just takes simple kibble. I think we need to have special gear, but this would be super sweet to have. The wicked tier is poison variant. Um, let me, let's go back to the base real quick. I'm, I'm actually really curious about that. That could be a very helpful thing for today. Um, DMAC base place. So it's a passive tame. We can do it with the kibble. But, 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 I think it's going to go crazy on me unless I'm wearing some crazy good gear. In fact, let's go ahead and look in here. Let me just type in chest piece. This will give me an idea of what all the different types are. So we have a ghillie. That's vanilla. Let's see, we have all these different really cool pieces. Zinc, copper, iron, bronze, XP, um, titanium, guardian. Wow, there's a lot of crazy armor pieces, but as far as Gilly goes, ooh, this is kind of cool. Look at this, 100% durability, 100% armor. Um, iron suffers, heat penalty. Doesn't that look like kind of like Gilly mixed with? A lot of these do, but it's not saying that it does anything special. Let's see. So this one says, um, blah, blah, blah. This variant also adds 30% to your stealth. So this is from a different mod. That's from Gaia. So while that might be helpful, I don't think we'd actually need that to do the tame. Um, let's look at the Gaia elixir, or the Parados elixirs, just to see if there's anything that makes you a little bit less noticeable to dinos. Food and health, big XP potion, that's kinda cool. Look at that, if we can find rare flowers, rare flowers is something I couldn't find. And then here's a big XP elixir. What's the difference between this? XP potion and elixir? I don't know, I'm not really sure. But anyway, rare flowers is something that we need to find where they are on the map. Um. All right, so I should have all of my armor that has been dropped right in here. So let's see how many pieces of ghillie we have. That is chitin. That's a ghillie one. That's a ghillie one. I'm just going to grab them all out. In fact, do they say ghillie on them? Yeah, let's just type in ghillie. In fact, just GH should be enough. All right, so we have, oop, we have the pants, we have the boots, we have the gloves, we have the boots. We don't have a helmet. What does this cost? Zinc? I don't know how much zinc we have. Ooh, 
zinc. And again, I don't know that this is even required. So zinc is made through just metal and obsidian. So we might be able to even craft our own. Um, in fact, we do have some zinc on us. Let me just make, I should have enough to make this helmet. Let's go ahead and make this helmet just in case we need it. Either way, when I come across one of the Gaia ones, I'll probably want to have this armor set. All right, sweet. So we have all those things. Zinc shield, 54 melee. I'm just trying to see if there's any other important items. Zinc mall. All right. So I think that should be good enough. I don't think there's anything from Parados that we otherwise would need. Maybe Parados just requires that you are wearing the vanilla set. What are these called? Dyes, right? Coloring. Coloring. Let's just dump all that out so don't weigh me down. And my inventory is all right. Beautiful. Let's head on back there. And let's just see about taming that guy. I think that would be super sweet. I know. Our point is to level up this raptor. Oh, crap. And I still have my XP thing going. And it's being wasted on me doing shenanigans. All right. It's right there. We'll come right back to it. Let me just finish. We got another minute. I'm an idiot to have not gone and done that. Well, that was a guardian turtle, but that was that was obviously not the Gaia guardian. So you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Trying to figure out all the different intricacies of the mods, and so much of this is it's very overlapping. Very overlapping between the two, because so many of them are so similar. In fact, the two mod authors are actually, I think, pretty close and have helped... Um, I think the Gaia mod author, whose name is, I guess he goes by Prome, um, he's done a lot of stuff for Gaia, or for Parados to help the mod author out, because she was fair, I guess, newer-ish. Now, at this point, it's been several years, I think, that she's actually been doing it, but when the mod first came out, she was fairly new into it, and it was a more recent mod um, than a lot of the others. So anyway, 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 let's just get this guy. We've got 42 more seconds left on this potion and then we can go and try and tame that guy. I think that's a frozen one. Don't just melt me, please. All right, we got him. I'm pretty positive that was a poison. I missed the message that it told me. All right, let's go. We've got another 25, four, three. All right, just final kills. I had intended to go into the desert and uh, do leveling there because there's so much bigger uh, bigger mounts or bigger creatures to level up against. It just makes a lot more sense. All right, so it's about running out now. Let me see if I can find this wicked horsey horse. And hopefully this, okay, there it is right there. So this seems like a fairly safe area. There's not too much bad going on. So on that note, and again, I'm, I'm just, I'm not exactly sure if, sh if this horsey horse is gonna aggro. I may not need Gilly or anything. Um, let's send a Raptor back to the base place. In fact, let's send both our mounts back. Just in case things go sideways. I do not want anything to happen. Also, it's possible that the horsey horse would actually take notice of the dinos if we had one on our shoulder. All right, so I'm putting all this on. Our weight's still actually good even without the builder's helmet. It said that it took simple kibble, I believe. Simple, why do those not stack? Simple augmented, simple augmented. They should stack, but apparently they're not. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. How many does it say it's gonna take? Please don't say four. Crap, this is four. Um, do I have any stacks? All right, there we go, simple. Kibble, it should be the same. It's weird how they don't stack. All right, so I've got our ghillie stuff on. Let's get into crouchy crouch mode. All right, and hopefully we can do this. Hopefully, hopefully. So if it's like another horsey horse, I go up, do that, ride, all right, waiting for the, oh, crap, 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 crap. I didn't notice the message. I'm not a pro at doing this. All right, it's gonna take a hot second. I'm not sure what she broke of my armor, but I would assume, oh, and it's already mostly tamed. All right, come on, wake up, wake up. Wake the crap up. We're probably gonna lose a little bit of efficiency for this. It broke my feet, 
which is not the end of the world. All right, it's still kind of aggro though. So lose aggro, bro. It's kind of weird, yellow. I haven't seen that before. There's usually just green and red, but yellow, I'm not sure what that means. Can I move closer to ride? ride? Oh, so I gotta get back on it. Come on, come on. Oh crap. All right, oh, one more, one more, come on. It should have a message. And as soon as we get that message, we press E. Come on, baby. Show me that message. I'm gonna take that off. The uh, the amazing spyglass. I think that might have been blocking our thing. All right, come on. Just waiting for it. There we go. I didn't notice a message that time either, but when she started bucking, I was like, yeah, I gotta do it. All right, we got a wicked horsey horse. This thing is super duper cool looking. It's got really kind of strange like strobing orbs or just magic around it. Really cool, it's the wicked prefix, so that means that it is going to be the poison tier. So very cool as well. We should be able to get knockouts with it. Um, don't have a saddle on it currently, so we probably should go and do that before testing it out. But look at this thing, it is gorgeous. Now of course, a lot of the cool stuff in Parados is very feminine looking, nothing wrong with that. I think that it's very cool, but you can tell. It's got the ladies touch on a lot of the stuff, having the pinks and purples and, and whatnot. But I think it's definitely very, very welcome in the game because almost everything else, you know, is very masculine and like mean and red and black and fiery and you know, so it's kind of fun to have the little powder puff type things added into the game. Oh man, this thing hits pretty hard too. Not bad. What did we end up with the level? It was a 540, we got a 755, so decent enough, decent enough. And of course, we'll be able to level this guy up over a thousand once we have all the levels into it. So anyway, let's get back to the spawn base. Um, it's pretty cool. I like this horsey horse very much it also took far less kibble to tame than the thing said it said it would take four and i believe we only used three so we probably got decent taming efficiency i'd have to do run the maths to find out what level it should have been but i think we did pretty well um in any case let's get our what's what do i usually have in my last slot I'm trying to remember my food all right let's get our food back out let's put the kibbles back away sweet um I should probably carry around this zinc gear with me. I should probably level it up though. And it's kind of annoying, look at that, to repair those boots. 236 zinc, no thank you. That was just a drop that I got too. We'd probably get a lot if I uh, ground this stuff up. That's what I'm saving most of this stuff up just to grind up. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So anyway, let's continue on leveling up the Raptor. I wanna get this next stage. I want to get it upgraded to a Ruthless for sure. So yeah, continuing on. All right, guys, doing awesome. I managed to get as a drop another XP elixir. So let's go ahead, throw that in the big one and then also big XP potion. We got to see, I think that if I use this and then this, it actually multiplies this times four. I think, I'm not positive, but I think. So let's go ahead and see, we did get as sizable amount of levels from that of course we're getting pretty high up there now other things about this raptor the stats are amazing but and it's got pretty amazing way i mean it's just shy of 2000 but we get a lot of um oh, oh crap 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 that is a pretty ferocious creature eight million health yeah i don't know about that what about this dodo rex what do you have for health the whole point of this was to get a lot of XP, so we want to take on big things. And it's kind of remarkable that I'm even considering doing this, but look at it, it's only 270. So hopefully, I mean, this is how powerful this Raptor is. Come here, come here. Or you could say how weak that Dodo Rex is. We were able to just kill a Dodo Rex with that Raptor, not even fully leveled up. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Kronos, interesting. 
think that's part of Parados, and I think it's supposed to give a weird effect. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we got this gorilla, only 40k left. Let's go ahead after it is a poison one, so I do have to be aware. But we got him. We got him. Oh, the minions, though. Watch out for those minions. So we got a poison gorilla now. What's up with this guy? All right, that's a, that dragon has quite a bit more. Quite a bit more. Uh, it's, got, it's in like, oh, the two million range. I did not notice you. Um, neutral. Oh, crap. Attack target. All right, good, 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 good. All right, beautiful. Passive. That scared the crap out of me. He was totally invisible, and that was a guardian. And you saw that. It, it shocks you, and it dismounts you. It is pretty scary. It is definitely pretty scary. Um, Prometheus Electric Dragon. I think we can get that guy. I, I, I'm not going to go after him just yet, but our griffin should be able to do it. All right, come here, bro. That was a reckless raptor. That's pretty cool. That actually might have been something I would have been interested in. Possibly. Oh, fire damage. No, 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 no. Stop, please. Stop. I made these super cool lesser health things that regenerate you. And let's see. It regenerates 25% of your health over 30 seconds. So, yeah, good enough. Anyway, I'll take that. That's an RG. It's definitely an RG kill. All right. Look at that. We just got a lot of levels. A real lot from taking on those guys. So that's pretty cool and having this elixir. I don't want to spend too much time doing this leveling because I want the elixir still going. We got to go on our rampage, but let's get to max attack. One, two, three, four, and a five. 255, the highest we can go without the stats resetting when we restart the server. So yeah, very, very important that we do not go, do not exceed that. Now, if, you, if you're worried about doing that, and mind you, in vanilla, you can't go over because you don't get nearly as much we give ourselves basically um 500 or 499 for level ups which that's a modded thing that's not something or you know that's a change to the game that is not something you can normally do and it's not a problem you'd normally have to worry about but in modded it's just nice to have so many upgradable levels on creatures it just makes them so much better get wrecked that whoa 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 all right another guy problem that's a guardian holy crap that was rough. But this is helping out having this guy on our shoulder quite a bit. Our player's taking a lot of damage, but that's really cool looking thigh. Oh, that's the Lord of Bacon. I've been wondering what that is. I, I saw a thing to tame it. That That's a um, a special creature in Parados. Lord of Bacon. I, I was thinking it was going to be a pig. Nope. Oh, and it's our first basilisk. Get wrecked so much coolness all right is there a little bat there did you yeah it gave us the kibble sweet so we're doing pretty good i kind of forgot what i was talking about um oh that guy we can't deal with that guy cannot deal with that guy the clear ones that i think that's a phantom it's hard to tell and look at phantom rock golem 1.1 million but it's going to be a rock golem it's going to have crazy resist so yeah just things to be aware of so we still have another 300-ish seconds on our shenanigans. Those guys have 8 million plus health. Cannot mess them. This is probably a rock golem. Yeah, it's a normal rock golem. We could probably take him on. All right, how we doing? Let's get those up. All right, we got that dragon there. We don't want to get too close to the dragon. What are we hitting for now? All right, that's not bad. We're hitting for a quarter million. Which is respectable. Definitely respectable. This is the Kronos. So there was a Kronos. That's Parados. And what was that other thing that we took on? I'm trying to remember. It's, it, it seems like it was kind of like Kronos. Oh, is that a Reaper? Oh, Rock Drake. Thank goodness we got the jump on him. Before he got the jump on us. Alright, Guardian Rock Drake. Let's try and get the jump on him again. Come here, bro. Bam! Got the jump on him. <clears throat> All right, let's get this Dota Rex. Got him. Those Dota Rexes are such pushovers. All right, all right. Whoa, what is that? There's something weird. Did you see those, like, effects? I don't know what the crap that was. I do not know. I don't really want to find out. All right, what is this thing? 
Nano bug? Huh. It says it's not tameable, too. All right, gotta stay away. That might be another Lord of Bacon. Nope, normal Thyla. Yeah, that is cool. I want a Lord of Bacon. I love Thylas. <gasps> Ooh, and a Danny Shinehorn. All right. All right, that gives wicked souls. That's gotta be some type of special wicked creature. But it's nice to give the wicked souls because there's not like tons, at least around where I am, tons and tons of, of them. Not bad, 600 one. Of course, they don't give any better drops. There's a lot of these, jeezy peeds. I think this is what Froggy Man was going after today. He was he kept talking about it, wasn't it? It's it's another one of those kind of like silly fun um yeah, purpley pink creatures. They're cool though. They are definitely cool. You know, any any type of big shine horn. Super awesome. Alright, and oh my goodness, what are the chances? What are the odds? Two unicorns in one day. We definitely found a really high spawn area for unicorns. So that's pretty cool. All right, how are we doing level ups? Let's go ahead and pile that in. Um, We still probably had another 50 plus levels to go before we're completely leveled and can evolve this guy. And again, the reason you want to level this guy up is that the evolution will start off at the level that you evolve at. So the, the higher we get our guy, the more powerful and higher level the evolution will be. And you can't go back and fix it, so you gotta level up all the way first. All right, we got a crazy dodo over here. What are you? What is this? It's really big. It just says normal dodo. That is definitely not normal dodo. Look at how big you are. All right, that gave a Parados soul. I, I, I don't know why it just said dodo. Maybe it's a Parados dodo. It was ginormous. Look at this guy, legendary. Very cool. Very cool. I'm trying to find a fire quacker. Those guys give tons of good loot. But anyway, um, we got 95, 93, 92 seconds left on this uh, potion. Let's see if we got any other XP type things from killing any of these guys. It does not look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to get this guy finished leveled up so we don't spend all episode doing it. And uh, yeah, let's evolve him. All right, guys, I'm getting really, really close to max. I thought this might be kind of fun. We have a Guardian Stego here. It's got about the same amount of health as we have, so I'm hoping we hit much harder than it does. Oh, but it's running. It hasn't summoned in any minions yet. I don't know if it does. Maybe it's just the Dodo. Hey, we got it. We got it. That is super cool. And those are important to get for Gaia because they drop some really interesting stuff. Stego bones. And then we also got Essence of Void. Ooh, used to craft gemstones. <gasps> we also got Ascendant Steel Axe and Zinc Axe. These are kind of cool. Then we also got a Heavenly Horse Saddle. All right, I will take all this stuff. That is super duper nifty. Not bad. Um, I've got a couple guardian kills under my belt since we started the server, most of which were by mistake, but I'm, I've been gathering up all these different resources, which I'm not positive what I'm going to need them for just yet, but eventually we'll have to do it. There's another guardian. Now, what I am pretty sure about, well, I don't know. Did that guy give any XP? I didn't notice any. All right, let's try this guardian. Come here, bro. All right, hopefully it doesn't mess us up too bad. And... Come on, bro, and we did it. Oh, man, getting guardian kills. So what are these buffs that they're doing? Guardian fire, 5% of your health will burn away. All right, it looks like that's the only negative. I did not get much XP, if any XP from that. What the crap? We did get a magic pickaxe. We'll harvest angler gel from dead creatures. That's cool. That is gonna be likely very helpful. Um, you know, angler gel is not like a big deal, but you know, it, it can it can prove to be helpful until we're going under the water. And I've heard under the oceans right now on this map, there's a lot of overspawn, so it is pretty dangerous. What the crap is this? Cursed range? What is causing that? Ooh, ooh! Everybody's mad at me. 
What the crap is causing a curse? I I don't even know, bro. I don't even know what what's causing this curse. <gasps> what was that? That was abandoned rock trick. Wow, that was a 740. Prometheus Fire Gorilla. I think we can get that guy. I'm kind of curious what's in these bags. Oh crap. Oh crap. Stop doing that. They're just vanilla things. I there's some dino, I think, that causes a curse around here. I don't know. All right, that looks like it's got junk in these bags. I'm always checking, though, because you never know. All right, let's just heal up. Bam, we got actually two more levels. Okay, we still have our XP yet. This guy should give crazy XP, and this guy... Yeah, I think we can do this. I don't know what is causing this curse. Got him. Ooh, ooh, scary. Scary. Is it part of the map or is that a dino? Um, Froggy Man was telling me about this. I'd never actually witnessed it myself. This curse. What is doing that? It's also super hot here. It's got to be something. Legendary Lamanthra. There's got to be. Yeah, see how that went away? There's got to be some dino or something in range that is causing that. I mean, again, it could be part of the map, but... Prometheus Minion, Prome's Minion. I don't know what the crap is doing that. I don't know, but yeah, let's stay away. It's kind of nice in that it, it makes all the creatures like aggro at you, which is pretty cool. But at the same time, yeah, it's kind of kind of nasty. All right, what do we got here? Pavilionist Mantis. Cool. I'll get you. We got a Giga. It should be, yeah, it's a vanilla Giga. We should be able to take this guy on no problem. And I would imagine it gives a fair amount of XP. Come here, bro. Get wrecked. All right, we are coming along. Coming along, another 50 levels. All right, this might be it, guys. Let's hope this is it. Please be it. Please, I'm so sick of leveling this guy. No, but we are very close. All right, for realsies, I'm going to finish things off. All right, guys, we did it, we did it. It is fully maxed out in level. Beautiful. I made the new saddle that we're gonna need for once we evolve it. Hopefully everything works. This is my hope. Let's go ahead and pick it up. I'm gonna actually evolve it outside of this base area. Um, we do, though, need to craft up in the Parados Smithy, this little evolve thingy-majigger. So put this in an abandoned dino's inventory and press control X. So let's go ahead and craft this. 10 flaming souls, 10 guardian souls, 10 wicked souls. So thankfully we have all that shenanigans to do it. Um, it is going to be an evolution where you're going to want to remove everything from the dino. And I'm going to hope that we can remove the saddle in time. We might end up losing it. I'm not positive. Um, let me just read some of the shenanigans it says. So it says, craft a ruthless token in the Parados Smithy, put in the dino's in, uh, inventory, press control X. Now here it says, note, you cannot be in God mode, which we're not and never are. Creative mode, not and never are. You have, um, you have to close the dino's inventory and you have to be on the ground while evolving. Okay, it doesn't say anything about dismounting. So that's that's good, and we're in K mode. Let's get out of that, because that would be annoying. All right. Oh, and let's turn the other way, because I think we're gonna jump off to the right when we dismount, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, beautiful. So let's put this in here. Let's press, what was it, Control X. All right, it's evolving quickly, quickly. Remove saddle. Bam! Awesome! And we got it, and we actually, I think, managed to get the saddle off of it in time. So notice, we're level 2052 now, which is awesome. We did get the saddle. So let's put the new upgraded saddle on it. No more of the token shenanigans. You saw for a second there, it duped the token. I think you might be able, if you have time, can yank that out and take it. There used to be tons and tons of glitches with this thing where you could, like... I think at one time, you even might have got to keep your dino, too. That would be pretty crazy. But yeah, look at our new Ruthless. So it still has kind of a similar theme with the yellow. It's a little different, though. It's a more vibrant yellow. But it's still the yellow and black. Not the hugest fan of the dark-colored dinos, but 
hey, this guy is gonna shine. Um, the saddle does look like it's custom colored, which is cool, like a lot of the dinos in this mod. It's got the yellow and the black. All right, so that's all cool. We got all the food in it. Let's put another keep thing. I did also remember, and you wanna do this, is remove any augments. Um, we have the dino tracker normally, and I think we're gonna have to put, because it's a brand new dino. It basically destroys the old dino, makes a new one. So, very cool. But we get to start off super OP. Um, our health, a lot of our stats do go down, notice, but it should they should go up really quickly. So, that's all being said. Let's pull our griffin over here. Griff, dark void, come here, bro. Let's pick up Dark Void. Just gotta like to have that flyer. Just in case, just in case. All right. So this should be one of the most powerful Raptors in the mod, I do believe. Do believe, and it's a crazy high level. So, I mean, immediately from that, even if it wasn't super overpowered, just being so stinking high in the melee is important. So anyway, first hit, 60,000 to boot, baby. Our other guy, I th what was he? He was pretty tiny to boot. Like it was not anywhere near, near 60,000. I don't think anything was. Most of our stuff, I think 20,000 might've been the highest that I've seen. And somebody's knocking out all these dinos. What, do you see these dinos just getting knocked out left and right? What the crap did this? I wonder if Froggy Man's around here knocking out dinos. It definitely could be, but hey, I'm gonna get the kills on them and yeah, take them. Jeez, that's so bizarre. I've, I, I, oh yeah, I think, I, I see Frogman stuff. That might be his base there. Or could it be this guy? Oh, that's an abandon. I don't think the abandons do Torpor. I mean, we just leveled one up and I didn't notice it did. Um, anyway, we probably should go into the melee, but I'm gonna go even first. Wow! Look at the massive, massive amount of, uh, it's, you get in the speed boost. That's crazy. And it's really high in the melee too. We got 8,000 carry weight now instead of the just shy of 2,000. Yeah, we'll be able to level up way faster. Look at that, already 145 just off of a few boosts. Oh, I forgot to check the moves. How could I be so careless? So we've got, of course, left click bite, right click does that same jump up thing, but then C, it does a jump and what's gonna happen? Look at that, we got little ruthless minions. They're at level 400. Let's see how potent they are. Get them! Go my minions! Wow, they hit for 5,000 a pop, which is, it's not nothing. It's certainly not nothing. Let's see if they can take out a modded dino. But what's really nice is, yeah, look at that. They all died trying to take them out. Um, what's really nice about minions is you can use them as a distraction so that you can, from a distance, you know, go and, and do things. So that's cool, so it's got that, and then X does nothing. So I think that's all the moves. It's basically way more powerful, higher level, better stats, and then it's got the minions. So pretty cool. Let's see, is that move that does the same exact amount? Same amount as the normal hit. I wish there was a little bit more variation in the moves. I feel like that should deserve a higher attack but i don't know wait maybe it did or was that guy mate boosted i don't know i don't know but this guy is pretty dang sweet and look at this we got pavilion love stick pavilion own tool the love stick increases possibility for him to mate increase torpor dealt and harvest that's kind of cool that's another uh a gaia thing so many cool interesting gaia shenanigans in this mod, I, I love it. We're gonna have to go through a lot of it. But for now, we're still starting up and, and trying to get our bearings on creatures. But I think we're doing pretty well, guys. I think we are doing pretty gosh darn well. So anyway, yeah, that's this guy. Why is he not jumping? Does he not have a jump? He's gotta have a jump. For whatever reason, the jump wasn't working. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna level up for a little bit. I know we're starting to get a little bit low on time and we still have that horsey horse to uh, to try out. So let me let me do a little bit of leveling. Let's just get a better idea of how powerful this guy can get. All right, guys, I only got a few more levels into this thing, but I, 
it's it's insane. It is gonna be an absolute god. So just to show you, we're only 34 levels boosted into the melee thus far. Now, our abandoned version, before we upgraded this guy, I think he maxed out, it was somewhere between 250 and 350. It doesn't really matter because look at after just a few level ups how powerful this is. We're already hitting for 471. This thing is easily going to be hitting for in the millions. Easily. Wow. Plus it has the minions. It kind of feels like it might be smaller or it might be the same size. I don't know. But it's definitely not a big creature. It's super fun. I am having issues with the jump though. I can do the right click. And there we go. Now the jump's working. I wonder if it has to do with the sprint. Yeah, I don't know. That is super weird. Hopefully that's just a glitchy thing, but whatever. It is super fun. It is super cool. And we finally have a really good land mount. Um, due to the output of this, I think we're gonna be able to take on some of those phantoms with it if we're hitting for into the millions. So, and it definitely gives us a land mount too that's probably gonna be as beefy and as powerful as what our Griffin is, if not even more powerful. So, great addition to the team. Last but not least, let's get back to the base and uh, let's quickly, quickly check out this Wicked. Now, it does have a saddle slot in it. It does, it does. You can see it in the inventory. Oh, yeah, right there. In the inventory, it does have a saddle slot. However, when you go ahead and look at Wicked's, um, these are all the saddles. There, There is no saddle for this guy. I did try the vanilla saddle and it did not work. Um, and you can see both mods actually don't contain a modded saddle for this guy. So kind of interesting. Um, it's definitely going to make it a little bit more challenging. Um, let's toss our griffin off because I cannot. Ooh, I can't fit through there without picking this guy up, unfortunately. All right, so let's pick you up. Let's run out. I just want to see if this guy harvests. And I just want to get an idea for the uh, knocking out ability. I tell you, I get so confused in this thing. I cannot wait to move out. I've been I've been scouting out a whole bunch of new areas. So we, sh we shouldn't be here for too much longer. Um, I'm just still unlocking all the map. You see, I I've, I've still haven't even unlocked half the map yet. So there's a lot of potential places. I did find what where the Wyvern Den is, where the Rock Drake Den is, so that's pretty cool. Wow, this horse has a huge jump. That's actually pretty nice. Um, All right, so let's just see about this knocking out. Bam, all right, that just wrecked face. It does harvest, so that's cool. It definitely could use some more speed. All right, here's a modded guy that might not go down one hit. There we go. All right, so we got a knockout, and that was only a level 80. So that's cool. It hits for like 12,000 to boot. I'm curious, though, if the normal hit also does the knockout. I just press C that does the horse roar. I don't believe it does minions or anything. All right, and there's no other buttons. Um, Can we find a modded thing that's not going to die in one hit? This guy also has a whole bunch of level up, so let's just go ahead and do that. Needs the speed. Um, 58,000 in the health, it's it's a lot, but it's not overkill. Weight is also not all that good, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get very good level ups. Um, it has no food in it right now. Can harvest berries itself. That's a huge positive. All right, it's going to get kill most of those things. It can't harvest shenanigans, though, so you get stuck in it. But man, that jump is ginormous. Look at this, it's pretty cool. It definitely gets around really well. It feels way better with this much speed. Let's just find ourselves and we can shoot off of it, right? Just like a normal horsey horse, we can. So that is nice. I just want to see if the normal attack also does torpor, the left click. But I'm not seeing anything will survive. All right, that Bronto should survive an attack. Ah, crap, if we can get up there. Come on, be a good climber, bro. No, not so much. This is why I should have had my flyer. All right, might be able to get up here, mate. No, that's way too steep. Come on, bro. Something else spawn in. Just so that I can see this. All right, can we get around? Is this let me up? Maybe? No? Come on, be climb this. 
Maybe I, oh yeah, 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 perfect. All right, that I think is a pavilion Bronto that it's called. Pretty positive, all right. Oh crap, ooh, thank goodness for that jump. All right, let's watch this guy's torpor. Ooh, see, the normal hit does torpor too. That's cool, and is it equal amount to the back kick? Yeah, it seems about equal, 12 and 12. Um, the back kick, I don't know, you kind of stay still. It might be able to do it faster, but hey, we got a knockout. Not bad. So there we go for the Wicked, dude. And we, we actually maintained our health pretty well. Now, I would assume as we level up our melee, we'll be doing significantly more Torpor. So that's a huge plus. Awesome. I love it. I love it. It's not too OP. It's not a Pegasus, so it's not a Flyer but a really nice early game knockout artist. And this is something that we needed because now we can avoid having to really have arrows. Cause those arrows, it's not that they're expensive, but they are kind of expensive at this point in the game. They cost a stinking Parados soul per arrow. Now, yeah, they are really good, really good, but still. It would be nice to not have to use those anymore. Sweet! So we can get some really big knockouts with this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And we're probably not going to want to have this guy maxed. That might be a bit much and actually keep us from getting, getting knockouts. But as you can see, so far, we're taking out a, a almost near max level Bronto. And... Here we just took out a dreadful um, one of these dudes, re, uh, Ravagers. So pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Anyway, guys, let me go head back to the base and let's go name those dinos. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Raptor to name. And yes, it is a new dino we got today. So it feels like it should be named next episode. However, we already tamed it last episode. So we're going to end up keeping the same name that you guys suggested for the Abandoned. And that name will be none other than Gold Rush. Totally love it. There was a lot of gold suggested names. And I just, a lot of them didn't sound right being like gold something. And finally, somebody said Gold Rush, which I love because Rush on a Raptor, it just fits. It just fits. It was so very cool. I almost did Indo Raptor, but I think Gold Rush is even better. Um, we also have this crazy guy that makes the Silica Pearls. And yes, his name, I just ruined it, is Sprite. Somebody said Lemon Lime, and Lemon Lime, well, cool. I think Sprite's just so much better. If we get another, we can name it 7-Up. I think it is epic, so very cool. And this one we tamed a few episodes ago, but I forgot to name it, so yeah. Next episode, we're going to name the crazy, cool, wicked um, Horsey Horse, so make sure to leave some epic name suggestions for this guy. This guy looks like, is your health down, bro? Let me give you some more health. There you go. There you go. But anyway, guys, having such a fun and epic time. Amazing day, I do have to say. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.